So I'm excited to hopefully pick this up. Now there only is 2,500 copies, give or take. So we'll see if I can get this one. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, back with another great video for you today. And in this video, I got the list, the Record Store Day list. Yes, Record Store Day will be June 12th this year, and I am looking forward to going and hoping to pick up a few albums. Now, I will say the list was a little bit of a letdown. There weren't as many things on the list as I had hoped that I would want, as in years past. But that's okay, there's still a few albums I'm hoping to get, and I hope you guys out there get what you want for Record Store Day. I was a little puzzled going through the list, I was like, holy cow, there's a lot of picture discs, and there are indeed. Uh, you know, picture discs just don't sound that good, but as far as the collectability and the fact that they're a limited release and the picture's pretty cool, well, I guess a lot of people that collect picture discs will be pretty happy this year. I looked down the list, and I did notice some interesting drops. I will highlight one that I'm not going to get, I don't think, but it is something that I might consider if I can't get the other two things that I'm looking for. One of the things that is dropping is Queen, but it is Queen Live and it's got Adam Lambert, so it's not Freddie Mercury on the recording, I think. So I'm not sure about that one. That one's a little iffy. And there's a few other drops I know people are really jonesing to get, but they're not really on my list. So let me share with you what I'm hoping to get this year at Record Store Day. Okay, so the first album I want, I am pretty excited about because this is Elton John, and I'm a huge Elton John fan, and this Elton John album was shelved. It was never before released on vinyl or released anywhere, so this is very exciting, and I really hope to get it. Now, there are about 7,000 copies, and I'm reading here the track list to you guys. This is the Regimental Sergeant Zippo album that was never released, and now it's finally being released on Island and Mercury label. It was set to be released in 1968, but nothing ever came of it. So here is the track list. Side one is when I was Telby Abbey. The clock goes round, sitting doing nothing, turn to me. Angel Tree, Regimental, Sergeant Zippo. Side two has Dandelion Dies in the Wind. You'll be sorry to see me go. You're my woman and Tartan Colored Lady, Hourglass, and Watching the Planes Go By. So I am really hoping to get this. Now there are only 7,000 copies, and while that is small, it is not small like 1,000 in the Chuck Berry last year that I tried to get. So I really do hope to get this. Uh, I don't know as far as record stores which one I'm going to yet, because unfortunately the record store that I normally go to, Young Loud and Snotty, had to close permanently due to COVID so I don't know where I'll be going or what's going to happen but I'll definitely be coming at uh, a video there'll be a video out about where I go and uh, what I find of course on record store day probably live again on Instagram and then I'll film a little something here for YouTube so the next record that I hope to pick up is a fantastic record put out by the folks at Record Store Day. They do a release every year featuring some artists from the Sun Catalog, and all the music is hand-picked by music lovers and record store owners across America. And last year, I got the Blues Sun record, which was just phenomenal. It sounded great, and it had a lot of really fabulous artists on it. So I'm really looking forward to picking up their release this year year. It's called Having a Party, and on the album is going to be featured all great 50s music. It's got some fun, upbeat tracks for having a party. That's sort of the theme, so it's all music you can dance to. And let me tell you, there are some really great artists on this, so I'm excited to hopefully pick this up. Now, there only is 2,500 copies give or take. So we'll see if I can get this one or not. Now, they only did 
two at our local record store last year. Only two came in, so we'll see if I can get that. Um, I don't know how popular these are, but I really look forward to this every year because they really do put together a great compilation album. This is on the ORG Music label, and let me share with you some of the artists that are going to be on here. Boy, I'm just very excited for this one. So there is Frank Ballard, Shake Em Up Baby. And I think I remember reading a little bit about him that he only had a few big hits. But let me tell you, if you've not heard Shake Em Up Baby, stop what you're doing, stop the video, and go listen to it. It is a phenomenal track. I'm also looking forward to Jerry Lee Lewis with Friday Nights on here. And there's Bright Lights, Motor City Funk 2 and Soul Specs with Funky Drop. Oh, that's a great track. Carl Perkins, Drink It Up and Go Home. Alvin Robertson, Let the Good Times Roll. And I'm gonna shake it and break it by Roscoe Gordon and so many other great artists on here. Really good compilation album, I think, so I'm really hoping to get this one. Those are the two records that I want for Record Store Day, and I hope you guys out there, again, get what you want. I know some of these can be limited, and it can be a little hard during COVID times to figure out how we're gonna navigate Record Store Day. Things are getting a little better, but I'm still being careful, so uh, my Record Store Day plans may change a little bit due to all the things going on in our world right now, but definitely go support your local record stores. They need us now more than ever. So even if you're not going to go buy a record on the list, there's nothing you saw this year, go to your local record store and do some crate digging and maybe you'll find something cool and you can support them as well. So guys, this is a short video. That's all I have for you today, but I hope as always you will stay in, stay safe, and bend YouTube. Bye-bye now.